Call of Duty Warzone Mobile was officially released a little less than two months ago in March, with Activision Blizzard holding a special launch event in Japan, where it emphasized how the game is specifically built for mobile to ensure a great handheld experience. Playing it yet? Here's our quick video review. The solid gameplay and the terrific visuals do an excellent job of replicating the experience that fans of the popular Battle Royale shooter have come to love, though there are some caveats. The most glaring of which is that you'll need some fairly powerful hardware to run the game without encountering any performance or graphical issues. In essence, Warzone Mobile is a scaled-down version of its console and PC counterparts that leverage some of the same systems and assets, so it's no surprise that it can be a demanding game to run. But I do think the developers found a nice balance here. There's also the thoughtful addition of a mobile-only mode called Mobile Royale. The map is smaller and more condensed, and the player count tops at 78, which means you're more likely to engage with other players in combat, and it reduces the length of the matches to about 10 minutes or less, making them ideal for on-the-go play during commutes, for instance. But for longer matches, it still has the classic Battle Royale mode. As for its feel, the fast-paced and twitchy nature of the gunplay should make you feel right at home if you're a fan of the franchise. Even with the touch controls, there's an intangible familiarity to how your operator moves and shoots. That makes the gameplay so easy to pick up, and there's a boatload of accessibility and customization settings for controls that make it easy to fine-tune your experience. Overall, Warzone Mobile fulfills its promise in replicating the multiplayer experience of its console and PC counterparts on mobile. There's a real effort here to replicate the full game. So that's about it for our quick review of Warzone Mobile. I'm Kyle Chua. Catch you next time.